Hello, you guys. This is going to be a different kind of reading. It's going to be a message from your pet, okay? So, this could be a pet that's still alive, or this could be a pet that's passed over, that's in spirit now. So, I got a song for you, and the song is Little Runaway by Benson Boone. Okay, so there's, you know, this is a like romantic song and everything, but just ignore that part, okay? Because we're talking about a pet here. Okay, but as I was looking at the words, this this card here was sitting on top of my deck. It came out in one of the other readings. Uh, someone searched your car. Now, the reason why that's funny is because um, one of the parts of the song says, won't you come and we can stare at the stars and look at the comments from the roof of my car. And so, something about a car can be significant with you and this pet. Maybe uh, you take the pet um, in your car for rides, or, you know, maybe you used to if this pet has passed on. All right, so, this, my daughter just brought me two new decks, and I wasn't going to use this deck, but I feel like I'm supposed to. So, this message here, or this card here, number 31, universe we are all just stardust and here this part of the song look at the comments there's a universe in front of us that knows how small we are won't you come and we can stare at the stars okay so wait a minute you could hide from everyone but i'd know you Put your pain on me any day. Oh, though you'd still have some trauma to go through, I'll make it easier for you to see the way. Oh, your goal, but you don't even know it yet. So I feel like um, if this pet is still alive, <laughs> maybe your pet wants to go out for a walk at night or something, okay? Uh, oh my gosh, I know a funny deck that, to use for this one too. So, all right, I'm going to get a couple of from this new deck and see what messages we get from this. So at the bottom of the deck, we got number 32, escapist. And I'm seeing 222 on the timer. Come home to yourself. Maybe your pet wants you to be home more. <laughs> and if your pet is on the other side, maybe your pet is trying to tell you. Because some, our pets can be guides, you know, after they pass over. So if you don't resonate with this, you can just check out one of my other readings. If you do, stick around. All right. So, come home to yourself. Oh, man. And you can be your own knight, princess. You can be your own knight. I feel like this is just trying to let you know, either if your pet is alive, you know, maybe your pet wants you around more, okay? And if not, the come home to yourself. With the word escape is there, and I haven't read the book yet, but I feel like it's... Uh, talking about you needing to focus more on yourself. Maybe instead of some person or something, maybe they've been seeing you. Oh, wow. Okay, number 21, Clover, release your guilt. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is that this, and I'm seeing 333 on the timer, and this is a number three here with the two and the one, is that release your guilt. If you have any guilt about, this pet's passing or if the pet's still alive and you know maybe you feel guilty because you're not home enough or a lot you know i feel like your pet doesn't want you to feel guilty about that castle it's time for healing not war and evil queen you deserve sugar not salt castle it's time for healing so i i'm feeling like your pet is wanting you to heal from something here because she looks she looks so alone here and that castle in the background is giving me a tower energy or you know like there was yeah it is it's like a, a castle burning down Maybe there was a relationship you were dealing with where somebody was not treating you like you deserved. And I feel like, you know, this pet either witnessed that physically or they saw you suffering a lot. They saw you crying a lot. Maybe when that come home thing, maybe they saw you 
you know, alone a lot, crying a lot over some people who weren't treating you how you deserve to be treated with this evil queen here it could have been a friend it could have been a family member a co-worker i don't know what it was but like your pet has seen you go through this your pet has seen you alone whether they're alive or you know passed over they've seen you going through a lot and they've been there with you is what i'm getting okay so now i'm gonna use this deck here i'm gonna get some tarot too but so i'm gonna get this some from this deck and i can't think of the name of it well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, this deck is really, really straight to the point. Oh, you need a big effing hug. Okay. Your pet thinks you need a hug. All right. Give me, pet, give me a message here for whoever's watching. Good grief. That's a lot. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. Okay. Now, that didn't come out, so we're not going to take it. Mm. Okay. Ask an effing expert. Don't rely on your friends on the internet. Listen to a damn professional. <laughs> All right. Your body is pissed at you. Get the F outside and move your ass. <laughs> okay. Watch out. Shit can get ugly. You are being shady. Okay. Your pet feels like you're being shady. <laughs> Oh, Lord. You are giving away your power. Hmm. Maybe someone else is being shady. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just effing stop. Oh, my goodness. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Eat your vegetables, your pet is saying. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Detox, that came up earlier. Okay. Okay. Now, don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. On the back, it says you need some effing time alone, and you know why. So, oh, and then love. Your pet is sending you love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. The thing about, okay, so the let's go out and look at the stars. Maybe your pet is trying to encourage you to get out of the house. Maybe you've been cooped up for too long. Okay, so that's all I'm going to get from that deck. Um, mm, I'm trying to think which deck has more pets in it. I need to get a deck with more pets in it, but... I'm just being guided to do this. So let's see what comes out. Actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. So the pets don't have to be in it. I'm going to get some for from the tarot. Let's see what we get here. I'm not going to make it too long. But I just feel like someone out there wanted to hear a message like this. So maybe not many people, but it's somebody. Okay. So we got the world card here. messages from a pet here or in spirit this pet is is trying to let you know that you need to end a connection with somebody and move on we got the six of swords at the bottom of the deck um wow okay let's keep going the four of cups I'm going to need to, okay, with the hangman at the bottom of the deck, Pisces Energy, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. So, what I'm getting here is like, with this hand reaching out here, I feel like that's like, I'm getting this feeling that you're in this kind of depressed state. And your pet wishes they could talk to you about it. But, you know, they can't. They're a pet. Unless they're a parrot. But even then, I guess they'd be just repeating words. I don't know. Okay, your pet wants you to know that you are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. And they want you to see that. 
with the home. We got the fool here with a dog. So you could have had a dog that passed over or you could have a dog now. It could be any pet though. This is just showing us a little pet here. The fool, more Aquarius energy. But yeah, definitely there's a message of holding on too tightly to something. With the fool here, I think you're being encouraged, you know, by your spirit team in general, which this pet is a part of, even if they're still alive. Like your your spirit team, you're going to have people in your life who may pass away while you're still, still alive and they'll be become part of your spirit team after they're gone. So, you know, I kind of like I have family members like, especially like my grandson, he's always... He's always saying the craziest, not crazy stuff, but he says stuff and I'm like, wow, he's a, he has this over soul energy and so does my youngest daughter. So they definitely feel like they've been here before. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we got the nine of swords with the four of swords here. So 94 or 48 can be significant. You could be having uh, bad dreams. This is giving me more devil energy here. Like something's really bothering you. And tell me more about this. What's the guidance? All right, we got the three of pentacles here. Tell me more about this three of pentacles. The moon and the six of wands. Okay. Something is bothering you. Something has been bothering you here. But what you don't know and you don't see yet is that things are about to get better, okay? So if you try, and I know that's harder than just harder, easier said than done. That's what I was looking for. Um, To be in this full energy, like happy energy when you're depressed and, you know, worried about stuff, that's kind of hard to do. But I feel like this message from this pet or spirit spirit team member is that you don't know what you don't know here and i've just seen 222 on the timer with the moon here something you don't know is that things are about to come together for you 63 or 36 could be significant the six of wands with the three of pentacles is about something coming together horses could be significant but something coming together that a success a victory is coming together that you know, you don't see it, apparently, with this Three of Wands. You don't see it. Wow. Now, we got two dogs here on this card. So, for a lot of you, this is a dog. Okay. You don't see it yet that things are coming together. There's another puppy dog there. Okay. Okay. Tell me more about this victory and success that is coming. Yeah, I'm not going to keep all those. Okay, tell me more about this victory and success that is coming. So we got the hangman, Pisces energy. And the lovers, Gemini energy. And we got the magician at the bottom of the deck. So what I feel like this is saying is that... It looks like some relationship that you've been worried about is going to be coming together or no, 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 no. Let's take that back. You're going to be happy in a relationship and it, it very well likely might not be the one that you was thinking it was going to be with the hangman. That's like things kind of flipping upside down. It's, it may not be what you expected at all. And maybe that's why the moon came out. Like you're manifesting this love here. And you don't think it's coming because maybe you're thinking it's with this one person and it's not. So if you kind of let go of that here, we got temperance at the bottom of the deck. Have patience, let go and let the universe bring or God, you know, however you resonate with that. Then these came out. Something about stability, a family, something is coming together that you don't see yet. You want this stable, happy relationship. And what you don't know is it's coming together. That you need to be in this happy energy. 
of knowing that with the six of swords that you're coming out of these these energies here this depressed upset um you're coming into calmer waters and then with this queen of swords and this card here evil queen i feel like somebody somebody was being salty when you deserve you know you deserve sugar you deserve someone sweet but they were giving you sour salty bitter okay you're moving away from that there's a card in here that's not supposed to be in here so let's see what that is the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio the hierophant taurus energy <coughs> Okay, so with this Ten of Wands, something has become like a real heavy burden. Something has become, you know, it's made you depressed. It's become a burden. It's become something that's kind of dragging you down a little bit. Like, this could have something to do with a marriage or relationship or maybe one that you wanted to happen. It didn't turn out like you wanted it to. The hierophant can be about marriage. Something didn't turn out how you wanted it to. And so it's had you in this five of wands energy like this, you know, like you're curled up in a ball crying about it type thing. You might not be doing that literally, but that's how your energy feels. Like that's what some of the other parts were saying. Okay, so... The Page of Swords, uh, the card that came out about stop, you know, watching, stalking, whatever that was about. Yeah, this Page of Swords cards is kind of about that. With the High Priestess and this Ace of Pentacles, there's something new and better coming here. Use your intuition and your better judgment. I'm seeing the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Anything else? This card's not supposed to be in here either. <laughs> I just seen 717 on the timer. You have got a counterpart coming in that's a lot better than whoever this was, okay? Um, the Emperor with the Knight of Cups is somebody who's very stable, loving. Um, with the High Priestess and this Knight of Cups who's looking down into this water, it's almost like this person already sees you, but you may not be paying attention to this person because you're still looking at this person from the past. We got um, the chariot and justice at the bottom of the deck, cancer, Libra energy with the four wands. You might've had a family with this person or a kid with this person. And then, you know, y'all separated. You got single here with this nine of pentacles, but I don't feel like that's what you wanted. You know, you, you're kind of, or you could possibly have been still holding on to the idea of this other relationship. I'm seeing 1818 on the timer, which is two nines. And we got the um, five of pentacles and the five of swords. Yeah, you're feeling left out in the cold. And if it's not you, it could be someone in your energy, but... Someone really wanted this other relationship to work out. And it's just saying, basically, it's time to let that go so that the universe, you know, God, like I said, whatever you uh, believe in and resonate with, that higher power is trying to bring in this beautiful romance for you, this beautiful love. And it's stable, too. And I would say, when it does come along, take your time with it. Don't rush into anything because... When you rush into things, when you take your time, um, it's it's real hard for someone to keep up a fake front <laughs> if you take your time. Take things slow. You know, the mask will fall eventually if someone's wearing one. Okay, let me get a couple from the Sacred Forest Oracle, and I'm going to close this out. Aww. Butterfly Spirit Transformation, number eight. Number eight is making me think about the infinity symbol. And that's just a message that this pad is always going to be, you know, around you, whether it's here and eventually one day, because usually we live longer than our pets. So 
this pet will always be with you, always be watching over you. But the message here is that you, you're you already manifesting your dreams with this water spirit at the bottom of the deck. You could be a water sign or any of the other signs I called out. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure all the signs came out, but I just like to call them out when I see them. But um, you're already manifesting your dreams. The only th it's, To me, it looks like the only thing left to do is to just kind of change your perspective. And I just seen 2020 on the timer. So the year 2020 could be significant for some reason to somebody. Give me a second. I feel like there's something else is wanting to be said about that card. Okay, so if you see a butterfly after you see this message, and I mean just like a random, a random butterfly and you, you weren't expecting to see one, it could be a confirmation that maybe this message was for you. Or if you've seen one recently and it stood out to you, not like you're going around looking for butterflies, but just one pops up and then you're like then you think of this reading that could be a message that it was for you so this is kind of kind of a strange reading i don't know i hope it means something to somebody i'm seeing 21 21 on the timer so i do feel like it's for somebody even if it's for one person that'll be cool with me thank you for watching i love you guys if you're a, a mom or a pet mom um happy mother's day love you guys